Hello, my name is David Mills. I'm on the System Center marketing team. I work on System Center Essentials 2007, uh, which is our IT management solution for a mid-sized business. And I'm here today with Dustin Jones, who is on the engineering team for System Center Essentials. And what I'd like to find out, Dustin, is what is in the works for the next release of Essentials? I know there's been some noise about that. It's uh, just around the corner. What have, what have customers been asking for in the next release? Well, I, I hope customers are glad to hear that when we took to, to System Center Essentials 2007. We wanted to make sure that customers would uh, feel comfortable with the new version of System Center Essentials 2010. Okay. So all the same capabilities to have world-class Windows monitoring, uh, deliver updates uh, for your Windows as well as uh, third-party applications, deliver software, collect inventory, all those same capabilities are going to be in Essentials 2010. Okay. But the new kind of workload or new capability that we add into that unified management experience uh, centers around uh, server virtualization management. Interesting. So we took the, the, the virtual machine manager technology, if you've been uh, looking at uh, VMM 2008, which lets you manage a Windows Hyper-V, we took all that technology, yeah. uh, but we've embodied it within the unified experience provided within the Essentials console. So it, it's, it's really great, we're really excited about it. Interesting, so yeah, and I, I actually have heard a lot about that as far as larger companies realizing the value of virtualizing servers and what they're doing with it. Um, but what, what has been the ask from uh, these customers in, in smaller companies and what they're looking at doing with virtualization to help them out? Well, well smaller companies have some of the same challenges and, and, and issues as larger companies. Yeah. Uh, you, you still have to worry about cost, whether it's, it's server rack space, server power, or just right. even cooling, right? Uh, there's still a value to be gained from consolidation in terms of the, the hardware. Uh, mid companies buy uh, the same types of hardware that, that larger companies do. They want to make sure they're getting the same value for the, the bang for the buck. Uh, and so virtualization helped with all those challenges. Being able to manage that virtualization is important to actually ensure uh, that the, the total cost of virtualization is actually quite low. And so that's why we were very, uh, we, were, we really wanted to deliver um, virtualization management within 2010. Okay. Yeah, so it sounds like cost savings on energy, you know, running fewer physical servers, space, and all that sort of thing. Uh, can really be improved with that integrated virtualization. What does that look like in the product, though? Is it, um, is it, is it still all in one console? Um, how do you use the virtualization part with the existing Essentials management part? Yeah, so if you're familiar with, with Essentials, well, we have a space, uh, a computer space. It's kind of the default space when you open the product. So you're yeah. basically looking at your entire environment from a holistic view. We're letting you uh, understand the health of your environment, whether there's any actions you need to take, right? Yeah. But you're working with computers. Now, right. in, in Central 2010, that was primarily physical computers. We basically integrated virtual computer management into that computer space. Uh, oh, we have very cool. added wizards that allow you to uh, create new virtual machines, maybe convert a physical computer into a virtual computer. Okay. Uh, but it's all wizard-based uh, 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 management. You'll see virtual computers and physical computers in the same views uh, right there in the computer space, but it's done in a very unified way so that you're, you're comfortable with it, you understand how to do it, and how to quickly find those tasks that are relevant. Cool. So I'm assuming I don't really have to know a lot about how to create virtual machines um, based on what you're saying. I mean, if there's wizards in there that walk me through, uh, the process of doing that and, and, and getting them up and running. So is that, is that pretty much on the mark? Yeah, I mean, we, we definitely want to make Essentials deployment and, and getting up and running as easy as, as just using the product. We don't expect anyone to have to go, you know, read a white paper, read a manual about how to do uh, it, or have yeah. any familiar experience. Yeah, because I don't like doing product. that. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> I agree. Yeah, so I mean, you, you you open the computer space and you'll see right there on the right hand side there'll be there'll be wizards that start launching uh, into the the virtualization management experiences, helping you get up and running, start using it as soon as possible. Cool. Okay, so it sounds like the big news in the next version is integrated virtualization. Uh, with the physical uh, server management in Essentials. A absolutely, but along the way, right, we've always wanted to make things simpler, more efficient, uh, even more unified, and so we've actually improved all of the other workloads that are, that are currently in the Essentials 2007 product as well. Okay. Great, so this all sounds really exciting, Dustin. When can we expect to get our hands on the, the new product? So we're working on shipping a public beta in the fall of this year, Okay. Uh, so the, the, the last quarter or so of 2009. Uh, and we'll ship the, the product uh, in that early uh, 2010 time frame. Okay. So for everyone that, that wants to get their hands on the, the beta as soon as possible, uh, stay tuned to our product page on uh, microsoft.com slash SCE. Okay. Uh, and we'll soon have the, uh, the registration up there to be notified when the beta is available. Okay, great. So I can just sign up to be notified when the public beta is available. Absolutely. Yep. Great. Thanks, Dustin. Yep. Thanks, David.